What's up everyone? Sammy from Knuckleball Twins. Charlie's behind the camera. We've got Liam with us today who has joined us because I want to teach people how to do knuckleball free kicks. It's always been a passion. We go into schools and do it. But today we've got a semi-professional footballer. Liam has got some insane ability, very talented player, younger than me and Charlie, and we're going to teach him how to do a knuckleball free kick, see how he gets on. Looking forward to it? Yes, buzzing. Buzzing, that's the word. Let's go. Oui. <laughs> Let's go. I basically forgot the extension bit, so we're using the GoPro claw yeah, that's as the a extension. tripod mount. So we don't know what the view is going to be like because we haven't done this before. <laughs> so when you're learning anything, it's really important to focus on the basics. Start from the simple steps and work your way up. I'll have a few free kicks, Liam will watch me, and then he'll have a few himself. He's very skilled, so I'm expecting him to get it very quickly to be honest so we'll see how he gets on and we've got to consider the weather the pitch because it is horrendous but i will give liam a few tips as well as the session progresses enjoy So Liam was behind the goal when I hit that knuckleball and you just said it's like it's better in person than it, watching it so it goes to show you that sometimes the like camera doesn't always do it justice but nonetheless the amount of times I've hit knuckleballs like that and they've gone wide or over but I thought to tuck in the side net and I am buzzed. Unfortunately the GoPro is on Charlie's chest and not in the corner because that corner view would have been insane but oh well we got it. <laughs> He's scored an absolute worldy <laughs> top corner, like clean sheet a couple of weeks ago when we were filming, and now it's goals galore. So I think it's extra limb putting you off. It's extra limb, yeah, it's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> you think I'm in 300 help, but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I wanted you guys to see the footage of me explaining to Liam how to perform a knuckleball. Unfortunately, not with the original audio because the weather was so bad, none of the sound quality picked up. That's why I'm doing a voiceover. The weather was that bad though, that even this clip cuts out like halfway through. So frustrating, but I can't complain too much because I just scored that insane knuckleball. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna do my best to explain to you what's happening in this clip. The first part was me talking to Liam about the distance we're looking to perform a knuckleball free kick at. As you guys know, I always shoot between 25 and 30 yards out. If we go too far out, the knuckleball becomes riskier as the movement is so unpredictable we don't know where it's going to go and also if we're too close then there's not enough time for the knuckleball to even happen so think about the distance guys when you're practicing your knuckleball free kicks and also i would recommend shooting from really close just to focus on the basics of the technique but you guys that watch our tutorials will already know that if you haven't seen our tutorials check out the description because that's where they'll be and it will give you more of an in-depth insight rather than this which is going to be really brief we will also be filming a new secret tips video very soon me and charlie will go out and film that in the next couple of weeks or so and get uploaded as soon as we can hopefully within the next month because of the 300 likes you guys gave that video that's why we're going to do that so thank you so much for that the support and feedback was greatly appreciated moving on to this now you can see that the ball is placed 25 yards from goal roughly I've got the logo showing to help me strike the ball in the center with the instep part of our foot. The run up, we need to do five to seven steps back and then two to the left if you're right footed, two to the right if you're left footed. The approach is very important with a knuckleball. It's really important that we're not too curved and it's important that we're nice and straight, but not too straight as well. That's why we do the steps like that. We approach the ball on our toes, knees high, last stride and run up bigger to help generate the power and then we make the contact with the instep, striking the center of the ball, 
and most importantly, cancelling the follow through. Unfortunately, this is where the clip cuts out, so apologies guys, but if you're looking for a more in-depth tutorial, like I said, check out the tutorial in the description, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Liam has obviously watched our videos on YouTube and the recent tutorial video, so that's where he is getting his tips from. So it's really great to hear, and hopefully those videos help you guys out as well. If you haven't seen our Hater Smith video, guys, check out after this. You don't necessarily need to shoot the ball in the valve to perform a knuckleball free kick. It's kind of like glass, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Show me how it's done. <laughs> some clips yeah mate yeah Liam's smashing in you mate just about, <laughs> just about. love the modesty there encouraging to you guys out there as well. That that's insane. So, wow. Okay, we've got a slight issue. Obviously it's raining and the camera's getting wet. I've just had a recording error come up so my heart is beating pretty fast right now. Just as I expected it's currently saying there's no scenes or no footage on the camera at all, which means we have lost everything today. There's a slight glimmer of hope that when we get back and put the SD card into the laptop, it will all be there still. But if we have lost today's footage, that, that sounding too selfish, I will be devastated. Like, because of that goal, I, I, I won't hit a goal like that again, I don't think. You will. Not, 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 not to that extent, because I've done ones like that and they've all, always gone over a wide. We've seen the recent videos. Um, and obviously Liam's got worldies as well. So we're gonna call it quits. I don't know why I'm filming this because <laughs> if we've got no footage, there won't be any video, but a bit of a downer, but we'll end the video here, guys. Shout out to Liam for joining us today. Real pleasure teaching you how to do knuckleball free kicks. I think we've done extremely well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. You've actually yeah. smashed it, mate, so fair play. Leave the video a like, guys, if you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, just feel a bit deflated right now because we're in the moment of us possibly not having a video or not having that insane goal. But hope you enjoyed what you saw, and we'll see you next time. Okay, okay so just got in. The clips are all here. Absolute scenes, like legit. <laughs> so relieved. So yeah, you guys would have seen it. Would have seen the video. Happy days.